You can see the images out there just heartbreaking in many of those areas. Absolutely, but unfortunately, we actually been benefiting from it, having mild temperatures on the east coast as a result of the stormy pattern on the west coast. Oh, that's there. interesting. You said that earlier. Absolutely, yeah. The way the jet streams flip flopped, and we're going to actually see our chances for rain here go up over the next couple of days. We've got a couple of opportunities this week, Rick. Looks like coming up tomorrow morning, and then again on Thursday. So those are the two days I think we'll have the wet weather to contend with. Temperature wise for the rest of the week, though, staying above average. We should be in the low 40s. We're actually going to be right around 50 here for most of this week. It looks like tomorrow uh, we're going to be ending up in the upper 40s to around 50 for highs, depending on if we can get the rain out early enough. And it looks like right now the best chance for rain is going to be during the morning hours between that window 7 to mid, uh, 7 to mid morning, I'd say. Uh, perhaps around noon, that's we should see the rain start moving out. But there it is right there, getting close to western Maryland. Again, I showed this to you earlier. This model updates every hour, and it kind of gives you a good idea of what to expect. Western Maryland just after lunchtime, spreading towards the I-95 corridor, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So if you leave early enough, you may be able to beat the rain, but it looks like if you're going to be leaving 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, you'll probably have some wet weather to deal with. And it won't be a heavy rain. It'll just be more of a nuisance than anything else, create a little bit of spray on the roadways. You'll have to use your windshield wipers, of course. Notice by afternoon, though, the rain moves out pretty quickly, but it will likely stay cloudy for the rest of the day. That should keep us in the upper 40s for highs. Temps tonight won't be as cold as last night. We're expecting 30s, mid 30s as you wake up tomorrow morning. Showers should be moving in right around sunrise. Best chances west of I 95 before sunrise and then spreading across the rest of the area here throughout the mid to late morning hours. So that's the first storm system we're going to deal with. This one right here. We've got another one that's going to come behind it, looks like on Thursday. So Wednesday will be a dry day. Here's a look at your future cast. So we'll get this system out of the way through tomorrow evening. Wednesday looks dry. Clouds and sunshine are the forecast. Temperatures are getting into the mid to upper 50s here for uh, Wednesday afternoon. And then here comes the next storm system. Late Wednesday starts approaching the area, and then we have the wet weather to contend with through the day Thursday. I think Thursday will be a longer duration event, meaning most of the day will be wet and probably dealing with a little bit heavier rain with that. But then by the end of the week, we'll get back to that northwest flow. Things will start to cool off a little bit and dry out. Western Maryland, though, possibly tapping into some more snow chances out in the portions of Garrett County, just like we saw late last week. Forecast tomorrow morning again, mid-30s. Chances for rain picking up by sunrise and continuing through lunchtime before tapering off during the afternoon. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. Again, temperature is right around 50 here for tomorrow afternoon. The best chance for rain will be in that 7 AM to noon time frame before moving out. 587 here, dry weather for Wednesday, more rain on Thursday. That looks to be the wettest day of the week, and then will look like a partially wet weekend. Dry on Saturday, more rain though moving in on Sunday. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad forecast though. No, you can't beat it because it could be a lot worse, a lot colder, and we exactly. could deal with it. We know snow. what that rain could be. Bingo. <laughs> exactly. All right. Exactly. Derek, thank you. Yeah. And for more first alert weather and updated news, you can check in with Cena Gabarav, Tim Williams, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ. Starting at 4.30 a.m. But let's check in with 